So one of the best Warframes in the game has now been buffed to make one of her least favourable abilities even better. Meanwhile, Frost is over here crying in the corner, just begging Pablo for some love. Just a little bit of love, Pablo. It's not much to ask for. Citrine is our newest Warframe and arguably one of the best additions to the game in a very long time. And she has now had her third ability, Prismatic Gem, buffed. The ability that a lot of players, myself included, had already swapped out on certain loadouts. Not that it, it was a bad ability, quite the opposite. In fact, it was really good for spreading those status procs. So the ability spreads status effects to enemies being attacked by you and your teammates. It also buffs status duration and chance for you and your teammates that are inside its radius. But they've buffed it to increase the number of enemies that it now attacks per second from one up to 2.5. So it now attacks two and a half men per second. So Charlie Sheen is rightly fact. In fact, I'm waiting for Oompa Loompa Grenier clones to be rolled out in the next update just to make the most of this 0.5 person that you're apparently attacking or maybe rollers or doggos count as well. But in all seriousness, this means the ability now hits five enemies every two seconds, whereas before it was two enemies every two seconds. This is absolutely huge. It's like 150% increase. It's now even faster at spreading all of those status effects and slowing, burning, electrocuting and spreading toxins than it was before. So if you're building your citrine as a proper support warframe, then spreading elements and priming enemies is one piece of the bread and butter of a support frame on top of the health and energy orbs, the candy that Citrine drops constantly as well, which makes the changes to this ability absolutely amazing. So now the question for a lot of players will be, what ability do you subsume out of Citrine now, if any, on a Warframe that is so well put together? Now, if you're one of the minority players in the Warframe community who still run endurance missions, then chances are you're dropping her second ability because 90% damage reduction against level 9,000 enemies is absolutely pointless. You're gonna be making the most of shield gating instead. Or maybe you wanna drop her fourth ability because enemies are already dead by the time it gets the chance to crowd control anything. I will be honest, I'm not sure she needs anything removed or subsumed anymore. Maybe some of you still want to drop out that third ability and keep an armor stripping or defense stripping ability in there. Entirely up to you. Meanwhile, like I said, Frost, poor poor Frost. If anything, Citrine's kit, her abilities would have worked perfectly as a Frost rework. Damage reduction, crowd control, throwing shards of ice, to drop energy and health orbs instead of what Citrine throws is another case of, I guess, Protea and Voban, right? What could have been. But maybe Frost will get some love down the road in the future. Who knows? Have a great day. Let me know what you think of Citrine's new buff. Have a great week. And as always, thanks for watching.